Hello, my lovelies. Today, we conquer the big one. <laughs> All right, uh, years ago, I got this as a request. It has been on the docket for ever. I've never done it because there's a fishtail braid and you know how I feel about those. But uh, one of you wants to wear it for her wedding, even though I'm pretty sure that your wedding has probably been postponed, but it doesn't matter. You'll get married eventually, um, and the rest of you, I have gotten a lot of requests for this. What is this? This is what this is. I'll just insert the photo here. I have tried to backtrack this. I did originally see it on Pinterest, which is where I pinned it, and it was just from Rebloggy, which is just reblogged from something. I have no idea where this photo comes from. Uh, I have seen it where it looks like a painting, and then I have seen it where it looks like a photo, so I'm pretty sure this is an actual photo. Somebody did this hair, a hairdresser did this. I don't know what for, I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna redo it. We're gonna figure it out. I think I figured it out. I actually talked this over with our very own Wessex Mermaid yesterday um, and told her my plan of attack uh, so, I'm going to break this down as simply as we can possibly do it. Um, which is not to say it is not going to take a really long time. We need some things first. We need a ponytail holder that is close to our natural hair color. We need clear hair ties. We need ribbon that we can cut. Um, we need pins, whichever, I'm going to use bobbies, um, big and small, I don't know, we'll see how it goes when I start pinning, um, you need scissors to cut your ribbon, let me see what else we need, a brush, duh, um, and uh, some time, how much time, I don't know, I'm going to, when we really get started, I'm going to set my timer and we will see. Also, since there are curls involved in this, you're going to have to curl it. I am curling at the end because I am curling at the end. I'm not curling all of it. I'm just curling what needs to be curled for the look. Also, as any of my curly girls can testify to, um, it is hard sometimes to deal with things with curls. So we're going to curl after curly girls. I assume that y'all are real good at dealing with your own hair and you can do your thing. Okay, so initially we're gonna make a part uh, behind our ears over the top to the other side behind our ears. Um, this is gonna be where the braids rest. So you want it to be back here. Like you don't want it up here, you want it to be back here. So I'm going right behind my ears straight up and over that feels pretty good my hair is really grabby today so there may be edits while I separate all right we are separated Doo -doo. so this in the back we have ponied into a low pony um, and then what we separated out from the front you need to part your hair now you can part it straight down the middle I don't like the way my Face looks with a straight down the middle part. So what I did was a diagonal like this so that this will be, you know, a little softer to the side, but we still want these to be pretty even. So it's a straight diagonal so that I still get enough hair on both sides, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna break it down and tell you what we're gonna do and then we're gonna do it. So what we need to do with this is two micro braids per side and one chain braid. What's a chain braid? I don't even know if it's actually called a chain braid, but I'll show you. That's what I called it 10, 11 years ago. Who knows, it probably has another name now. So I am going to start our timer and start braiding. Uh, even though I know this was this was just prep work. We're not gonna we're not gonna count that. Where's my stopwatch stopwatch that's what I'm gonna do all right let's start it so what we want to do is 
do two micro braids and a chain braid. Now, micro braids, I mean little tiny ones. Now, I might actually do slightly larger than wee tiny ones, just because I can, and I feel like it. Um, but I'm gonna take about this much out, toss this back here, and then we're gonna turn this into two braids. Now, in the picture, they are English braids. Um, I really would rather just rope braid these, but we're gonna do it like the picture. So these are gonna be two English braids. So what I'm gonna do, since this is going to take a while, is I am going to do two English braids on each side and get that all done, and then I'll come back and show you what I mean by a chain braid. All right, uh, I'll see you in a sec. For you, we'll figure out how much time for me. All right, back in. All right, so far we are 21 minutes in. We are paused at the moment. Um, so I can talk to you. So I slightly cheated. Um, I did do one of them as rope braid because I just, ugh, it takes so long. So we have one English and then I did a little baby rope braid. Um, on both sides, um, I did pull my bangs out because I will mess with them later. Now, we're not actually gonna chain braid right now even though I told you we were gonna. Uh, well, as I was contemplating things, um, I realized it would be cooler if we could pin the chain braid into the braids underneath. So we're gonna do them first. So we're moving on to the ponytail. All right, so our low pony, we are separating into three sections. One section, we're not doing anything with. One section, we're fishtail braiding, and the other one, we're doing a caterpillar braid, or, you know, a pony band thing. You know, a ponytail with bands all the way down it, whatever. Anyways, okay, so three equal sections, actually. So one on this side, and we'll do one on this side, and then I'm gonna leave the center down. Told you my hair is loving itself today. I wanna make sure we're equal. This feels a little peaked. I might actually just make the one in the center a little thicker, maybe just a little bit. Okay, that actually feels good. All right, so just because it's gonna take forever, I'm gonna fishtail braid this. Now, the little ones up front, I didn't braid all the way to the bottom. I left a good long tail because you'll see why in a minute. This one, however, needs to be done as far down as we can go. Yay. All right, uh, do you need to know how to fishtail braid? I do have a video from eight, a million years ago and had a fishtail. And I know a lot of you are like, Torn, you never fishtail. Like, you never fishtail. Yeah, two reasons. One, the takedown of this is gonna suck for me uh, because my hair does not like fishtail braids and it will be tangled and atrocious. Um, the other reason I don't do fishtails is that this is gonna take a really long time. So, uh, but it's not hard. A fishtail braid is not difficult. So you wanna, in the center, okay. You wanna separate into two, this section, right? So what you're gonna do is from underneath, you're gonna take a wee tiny section from the right side, okay? You're gonna go over the rest of the hair on the right and add it to the left side and then pull taut. Now what we're gonna do is the same thing on the left side. You're gonna take a little tiny section from the left, pull it around all the rest of the hair on the left, add it to the right hand side, and pull taut. And this is what we are going to do over and over down the whole length. The more, the smaller your sections, the more intricate your fishtail will look. If you take big old giant Herkin sections, it will not look like a fishtail braid. It will pretty much just look like a regular three strand, which defeats the purpose of doing a fishtail. So I've already got a few down, pulling taut. 
So I'm going to do this for a while. I'm going to start my timer again and uh, I'll be back and we'll check in for the next step. Back in a second. Alrighty dolls, we have a fishtail. Ha ha, look at that. Yay! Um, we are currently standing at 56 minutes in. It's been almost an hour. Uh, we're not done. Next! So we've got that, that. So we're down to our last two sections in the back. Let me. I'm actually going to pull them together just so I can separate this and this and okay so that one's done so we are now on to these two sections this one we will leave down this one I feel some hair from the top trying to join the party BT dubs while you're doing that fishtail continue to like run your hand down because I just kept grabbing these little hairs in it while I was braiding so, so right now I'm trying to make sure I don't have any of this hair in the front mixed up with any of this in the back. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, so you need your clear hair ties and uh, we're going to start doing caterpillar braid, which is, we're just going to put ponytail holders around this down the length. Let me shake a few out. You guys know how to do this, right? I mean, you don't need me to show you this part. Correct. Uh, but what we're going to do, um, I actually need these to do, I need to do it behind so that they will be better spaced as it were. So this is the only part that sucks is that the clear hair ties in my hair <laughs> don't always get along the best when it's up so high in my hair. Okay, we got one there. Awesome. So I'm going to space mine a fist apart like that. And then, or four fingers, I guess. We'll put another one there. Yada, yada, down the length. Um, after I get all of these on, I'm going to tie ribbons around them and then cut the ends off the ribbons. And uh, yeah, it'll be decorated. So let me start the timer again and see how that goes. Back in a sec. Lovelies, we are now an hour and eight minutes. <laughs> an hour and eight minutes thus far. Uh, <laughs> front is what it is for the moment. This in the back, we have a fishtail. We have this caterpillar braid with ribbon accents. It's not the neatest I've ever done, but it's good enough. And then just a ponytail section hanging down, which we will continue to let hang down. And we are going to pin before we do this, because this is going to lie beside. Okay, so uh, take fishtail. We're going to wrap it up and around like so and pin it. Pin it. Uh, we're going to use, I'm just going to use regular bobbies. This is going to be a little more difficult to me. I need to start my thing again because I'm using this as a mirror instead of an actual mirror. <laughs> um, I do have a mirror, but looking at it behind the camera, it is about waist length, which is not really conducive to anything I need it to be conducive for. So we're going to pin this around. Like so, find our part. We want to pin this over our part. Okay. Pin this down and then we are going to take the rope braid, or not the rope braid, the next section, the caterpillar braid. We got that much. We have this much left. Awesome. Caterpillar braid. Again, make sure the hangy downy bit is still hanging down. We're going to take it and wrap it a bit around 
this. Um, as in, let's get to the end. So we have our fishtail going around our head. Very gently, we are going to weave this one up. I'm going to dip down a minute. Okay. <laughs> and around. That's why we don't have too many pins yet. And right here in the front. Bring it around like so. We'll bring this back around here. Oh, that right there is exactly where my pin is, but that's okay. I'm going to unpin temporarily and bring this back around right here. Repin. Pull this forward right here. Pin was in my mouth all along. <laughs> Alrighty, repin this. Cool. Now we have this left over. What do we do with this? Well, looking at the picture, first I want to reinforce all this around our head with pins. Yes, that would be the best course of action. I'm using some of these wee tiny little ones too. Trying to hide them as best as we can, as it were. I also might want to go and check this in my big mirror where I can actually see what I'm doing as opposed to right here when I can't really see what I'm doing because you were the size of, you know, two postage stamps put together, I'm trying to feel what everything feels like. All right, this side, I need another one over here. It feels like, all right, so, yes, yes. So now we have this as what's left. And I'm just simply going to take this and twirl it up like a pinwheel because that's, as far as I can tell, that's what it looks like on this photo. I'm not positive that that is what is actually happen happening, but that is kind of what it looks like right here at the bottom. All right, for this part, I am gonna run into my bathroom and actually have a look see at what's happening and adjust any pins that I need to adjust before we get to the final part. Uh, my husband might be home back in a sec. Turns out that was better than I expected. Um, so this is what we have so far. Uh, um, we've got these pinned around our head um, and I actually did have this in fairly decent. I can feel a little, few little sticking up, but I'm going to dress that at the end because we still have a ways to go. So this, and I know we can still see our ponytail holder. I'm not worried about it because we're covering it up too sweet. So now we're left with these. Now we chain braid. So you want to pull out your two small braids because we will weave them through in a moment. Um, try and get them out and any of the little hairs that want to play with them to disengage from the affair. Okay, um, this whole section is what we're going to make the chain braids with. Like I said, just pull these over and your bangs or tendrils or whatever you're leaving out. I'm going to want to brush real quick because oof, my hair has been manipulated a lot today <laughs> thus far and we're still going okay um yeah I started doing this a long time ago I haven't done it in a while you went to even sections we're gonna tie our hair in knots not not knots we're gonna chain it as in the left hand side 
you want to go over, make a little loop, pull it through, pull it up. Da, 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 da. All right, now we need the right hand side, it needs to be the go over portion, as it were. Pull through. That way it'll be fairly even as you go down. You want to go back and forth, right to left. Okay? So. Or you can just tie it in knots. I don't know. <sighs> I'm just going to tie it in knots because I'm tired, y'all. Um, I probably forgot to turn the thing back on. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. Okay. Resume. We're at 113. And a minute. I don't know. All right. So, yeah, basically, we're tying knots in our hair, chain braiding down the side. Hopefully you can see what that looks like. Um, you can do it loose, you can do it tight. Mine's tight, but it'll loosen up once I get a few more in there. But yeah, I'm just doing this. Technically, you should be going back and forth, and then they'll both end up the same length. I'm not, so I have one that's much longer. But it's fine, it's fine. Um, let me finish this up. We're gonna do this on both sides. Um, that feels somewhat decent. So what we wanna do is pin this along the braid up top. Where's my ponytail holder? wrap it around the ponytail holder and then pin it into place. For this one I think I'm going to use an Amish pin. Probably my long ones. Yes. Um, no. I have all my short Amish pins. None of my long ones. I didn't think, oh no there's some. Ha! Huh? I didn't think I'd need my long ones but I think it'll feel better. So technically this should probably run behind this. Let's see if I can make it. Thread it. Can I thread it? I think I threaded it. I'm going to pin that in place underneath the ponytail holder. Awesome. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and then we're going to weave these through. Um, when I weave these through I'm just going to like do this number and then put some behind and then pull them. You guys, use your discretion. I'm not going to show you how I do all this because I need to do the big mirror again for that portion. So again, I'm going to chain brain the other, braid the other side. I'm going to find a way to weave these through. Um, and then I'm going to curl the ends, um, which will be the ends of all the braids and these braids will be incorporated into that, da da da. So when I come back, this will be done, all the curls will be done, and then I will probably also just go ahead and decorate with the pearls that you see in the pick. Um, I'm using stick pins. Stick pins. Stick pins. Uh, mm, I used to have epoxy on the ends of these, but I think it's all come off. So I'm just gonna try not to jab it into my scalp. Back in a sec! Alrighty y'all, we're finished. Uh, one hour, 58 seconds, and, or one hour, 58 minutes, 58 seconds. Uh, two hours, set aside two hours for this one. Um, at least, if your hair is shorter than mine, you won't need quite as long. Um, if you're a faster braider than me, you may not need quite as long, but two hours. So, how does it look? Because all you're seeing is the front. I did decorate a little extra, because that's me. Um, let me get my mirror. So I know I stay in frame. Here we go. Um, let me get back here. Hopefully you can see it a little better. So there's this side. And then the back. And then the other side. The side that we could actually see in the photo, slash painting, slash photo, I don't know. That would be the side. 
Um, where am I? Should we put up a side by side and see how close I got? There we go. I'm put one on the other side. Uh, there we go. Da, 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 da. How well did I do? Yes. Maybe so. I don't know. Ah, uh, this is my reasonable facsimile, I guess. Uh, this is as close as I think I can get. <laughs> um, like I said, uh, I tried to break it down into step by step by step, which is what we usually do. Um, I think, I don't think this is hard. Like, you don't need to know how to French braid or Dutch braid or anything. You have to know how to fishtail. Um, that's the most difficult of the, the braids that I did. Uh, basically, this is assembling uh, disparate parts to make a whole. Um, yeah. So, uh, thank you to uh, Princess Dasha for getting me off my butt and finally doing this. Um, I don't know if your wedding has been postponed, but if it has, it'll just give you more time to work on this because you are supposed to be getting in May, married in May. Is it May already? No, not quite. So I was, it's April 27th. So <laughs> I did get it in before May. Um, yeah, so you should have a little bit of time to practice. But this is not difficult. It's not hard. It's just time consuming, um, which is why this is under a fantasy style. Uh, and I'm just putting it up as princess hair. Uh, because Princess Dasha is the one who got me off my butt to do it, but that's what it looks like. It looks like princess hair. So, your fantasy hairstyle is princess hair. Uh, what this also means is that next month, our hairstyle challenge is fantasy hairstyle. It can be anything. You don't have to have long hair really long hair to do a fantasy style. Not everything is going to look like princess stuff. Um, it can be anything. It can be from any TV show that's relative, like Game of Thrones hair. You can do Vikings hairstyles. You can do, um, well, it's fantasy, yeah. Uh, or, like, maybe you saw something on uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, <laughs> which is a fantasy. Uh, sort of. So, you know, uh, but fantasy hairstyles, it doesn't have to be super long, you know. Um, it can have a kerchief. And then look, you're like in olden times. I don't know. I just, yeah, a fantasy hairstyle of some sort. Uh, I have a few. Uh, Sivu Plates has quite a few. Uh, La Dolly Vita 333 has quite a few. Loopsy has quite a few. There are a lot of different fantasy hairstyles to choose from. It doesn't have to be one of mine. Just something fantastical. Even if it's just a simple half up, you know, do two braids, hook them together, put something pretty in it. That's fine. It's still a fantasy hairstyle. Because you said it was and that's what we're going for. Um, as you may have noticed, the challenges this month or this year, like I started doing real specific ones, but I think I just kind of like the realm of. That way I get to see more stuff from you guys, I guess. Um, I don't expect anybody to actually do this hairstyle. This is one of the hairstyles that I get a lot of requests for, but none of you will actually do this. The few of you who would actually do this you don't need me to tell you how to do this because you've probably already figured it out for yourself because you are my hardcore hairstylists. Um, I'm thinking of who's been really knocking out. Like Monica doesn't need me to show her how to do this. Monica knows how to do this. Um, Carrie Ann. Carrie Ann doesn't need me to show her how to do this. Christy could do this. Um, Joni can probably do this. Kelly could do that. You like there, you guys know who you are. Becky could do this. Um, without me breaking it down for you. And none of you guys are the ones that sent in the request for it anyway. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, I just kind of find it funny that the people that request these hairstyles have no intention of ever doing them with the exception of Princess Dasha because she wants it for wedding hair, which cool. Yes, absolutely. 
great. I hope your wedding is fantastic, even if it's had to been postponed. It just gives you extra time to practice. Um, this is pretty. If you do work at a Ren Fair or whatever, you can you can do this. Um, you don't even have to do the curls. You could just rock braid waves instead of curls if you'd like. Um, you know, it's up to you. I did the curls because that's what the picture looked like. So we did it, guys. We finally conquered the beast. Uh, this one has been sitting on my to-do list for the longest time. So it is done. Thank goodness I never have to do it again. <gasps> Yay! Alrighty. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you on Tuesday, probably with some chatter about something or other. Alrighty, until then, have a great weekend, be good at it, um, and don't forget to submit your fantasy styles. Alrighty, uh, yeah, until then, have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.